Hey guys, this is Mike from B Tech Reviews here, and today we take a look at and install the Xbox 360 hard drive. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today it's going to be a part two on the Xbox 360 uh, series. I'm gonna try to make this into multiple parts. So again, guys, if you guys watched my first video, uh, I, I purchased this Xbox 360 E console uh, from the Facebook Marketplace. And I, uh, again, dedicated many hours in my youth, my early 20s, basically, uh, you know, playing Xbox, playing Halo, Call of Duty, uh, even playing Minecraft with my nephews and family members, right, that, uh, you know, again, uh, I just, you know, I was kind of drawn to this console back in the day. And again, you know, it was in an era where, like, I had a PS2 when I was younger, and I loved the PlayStation, but the PlayStation 3 just, uh, you know, at the time wasn't all that appealing. So, again, I went ahead and purchased a 360 instead uh, when I was a lot younger. Now, being, you know, you know, 10 years later after the fact that, you know, we've already had two generations of console come out, and yet, somehow, I believe that this system still holds up. So anyways, guys, the reason why I'm making this video is because I purchased a, a hard drive for the console. So again, that being a, a Xbox 360 e console, you got, most of you guys know that uh, I believe most of them did not come with a hard drive. I believe you had to get a hard drive secondhand. Or not secondhand, but you would have to purchase a hard drive separately if you wanted any type of you know, memory unit inside the console itself. Now, I don't know if all of the consoles came like that or it was just some of them, you know, because I know that they were tr just trying to sell them at the time when they were kind of at the at the end of their cycle for like $100, you know, maybe 150 for a cheap Xbox, right? Uh, minus the hard drive uh, just to sell it. And again, back then, you really didn't need to install the game onto the, to the hard drive for the game to work, you know. Maybe a small patch or updates here and there, but you really, it really wasn't necessary to install the game. You didn't really start seeing, uh, you know, downloadable games become a thing until the, that that next generation of con consoles, which was like the Xbox Series uh, One and the PS4, and of course the Nintendo Switch, right? But again, guys, I'm, I bought this, and I want to show you guys uh, pretty much how to install it. This is going to be a first time for me. Let's go ahead and get the console turned on. And let's see, let's see if it even turns on actually. I'm gonna have to use the actual power button over here to turn that on. And just so you guys can kind of see that it does work, you know, again, I'm not gonna, gonna give you the full screen here, but y'all can kind of see the boot up there. Xbox 360, it looks good, right? The old school Xbox 360. <laughs> And we are going to have to uh, change the viewership here. All right, guys. So please excuse the uh, the viewing angle here. Uh, again, this is like the first time I tried doing something like this. So when I purchased the console again, the the seller, I guess he left his his profile logged in. I I meant to tell him to um, to delete it or to reset the console and initialize it, but I guess he just kind of left it there. There's really nothing else there. Uh, I went ahead and downloaded my 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 uh i guess gamer profile you guys can add me on xbox live if you want i probably won't add you back unless i know who you are so again uh this is a wireless xbox 360 console you can kind of see it like right there on the bottom right i don't have any network connected to it let's see how long it takes to kind of log in there you go crypto tech 69 logged in and i kind of just wanted to show you uh the dashboard really quick uh, this one's uh, with a more modern uh, dashboard. This is probably the last uh, dashboard that you would see uh, from this console. Uh, you know, it went through, I believe, three generations of dashboards. You have the Blades, you have the NX, NXT, and then you have... This is what I like to call the Windows dashboard because they kind of mimicked uh, like what Windows 8 was back in the day. But let's go to the settings. I really wanted to show you guys the settings really quick um, in here. And let's go to System... And let's go to storage here, just so you guys can kind of see. So again, um, you know, again, uh, it says memory unit 714 uh, megabytes free. So actually, it says all devices two, uh, which the other one is cloud saved. You know, again, I do have about two gigs of free uh, space from cloud, uh, which you know that's I don't really count that. Um, but you can also again 
like I said, add that that memory uh, unit, which I'm about to do for you guys really quick. So I, I'm gonna just what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the console, and then I'm gonna get I'm gonna kind of show you guys where the little slot is. I'm gonna install it while it's still when it's off. I'm still gonna have everything connected, and then I'm gonna return it back in, and we're gonna see if if that makes a difference, guys, for you. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, guys. So I am back and. Uh, the console stuff is actually on the other side, so let me actually see if I can turn the console around completely here. Or actually, no, I was on the right side, never mind. I'm just kind of blind. So, the side that you remove the actual um, tray from, or the little compartment for the for the Xbox uh, hard drive is on this side. It's It should be on the side that have the feet of the console because again some people would actually still stand these up back in the day although I think this looks better laying down but basically the little hard drive bay is right here on the back so you just pull it out like this guys and again let me go ahead and again I, I purchased this hard drive it's a 120 gig hard drive uh, from Amazon I can leave the link in the description for you guys below uh, to check out but pretty much uh, I just got like the smallest hard drive that I saw that was the cheapest just because I was like I don't I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this uh, hard drive as far as like you know saving stuff I might just download a few games and that's it but of apparently uh, this one is compatible with the slim but it's also compatible with the series E just from the looks of it it looks like it's just plug-and-play right and I don't know what I, I don't know it just popped out of the actual package here it looks like a little like a little dot. I don't know what this is, guys. You tell me. I don't know what that's for, but it, it popped out of the box. <laughs> and there's really nothing in the box. I think it was just there on the side. Uh, but this is what the hard drive looks like. It's not a, a square hard drive. It's, you know, it, it looks like this. I don't know if there's any, um, you know, uh, spinning disk drive inside or anything like that. But it's basically shaped like that. And as you can see there, the port there is shaped the same. So it's just basically plug and play. I'm just looking at it in. So, so again, uh, let's take a look at this really quick. It says internal hard drive. Uh, the brand, I forgot what the brand it's called. It's called Heyo. Heyo or something like that. Uh, again, I'll leave the, the link in the description below. Uh, Amazon has a bunch of different brands of these guys. I just I just went and got the cheapest one I can find. And as you can see here, when you, when, when you put the drive in, it actually, this actually clips in. So you actually probably have to pull this to... Uh, to get this to come down so that's that's why they have these little these little pull levers but let's go ahead and just plug it in here for you guys and then we're going to turn the console back in okay so once you hear that clip that means that it's pretty much in um and again you can just literally put the the face plate back in again you're going to just kind of put it like that see if we can get that going and then and then do that so i'm hoping it's just a plug and play I didn't really read any instructions to turn it off or turn it on, but let's go ahead and get this turned back on. Let's see. Let's see if there's any issues because I've I have seen other uh, uh, other I guess YouTube channels where they plug this in and then uh, you would see issues. But let's go ahead and rechange the the look here. All right. So as you can see here, you know I'm I'm back at the sign in screen, guys, and I really apologize about the lighting situation. I am gonna get. A capture card set up with this eventually it's just that I have my the way I have my stuff set up it's just very it's very not nice right now I need I, I really need a bigger area to have all this stuff and I just kind of don't so yeah I don't know I don't remember the sign-in process taking this long back in the day but maybe that's just me again maybe again it's an older console I did clean it up as you guys can see in the first video but let's go ahead and let's go ahead and see if, if it picked up the hard drive. I'm hoping it did. If not, I'm gonna have to return this uh, and get my money back. You know, I'm, I, 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 it's just what, just a thing for me. So, so here you go. It says right there, 106 free. So I don't know if you guys see that or not, but definitely an option, right? So like, let's say for instance, I want to go and download a game now, right? Because I don't have any, I don't have any 360 games right now. I did uh, buy a few per, off of a uh, Goodwill website. Uh, but again, like let's take a look here profile demos music. So definitely you can definitely save a lot here Here's the actual memory unit that has the stuff saved, but you know definitely uh, Now I don't have an issue like going back and saying hey like I want to install um, You know a game on there, you know, which I I want to say let's see 
Let's go to my my games really quick. Hold on. I wonder if I can transfer. I want, let's see if we can transfer games here. So the only game I have right now is Resident Evil Revelations 2, which it was free. I didn't have to pay for it at all. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't remember if I if I paid for it on my other Game Pass account. Um, it doesn't really give you any options to like you know move move it though. But I want to see if. I can't look at, look at that. They're even. They're still even like, you know, they're still promoting GTA 5 and, and MW3, which I, I believe at this point, you know, the 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 version of this Xbox is really not going to be supported too much. You know, you can still search with Bing. Uh, you know, I don't even know if there's deals with gold. Let's see if there's any free games with gold, guys. You know, release day. I, I guess so. You know, I can download Bor Borderlands 2. Or let's see, Borderlands 2 and Pirates. I wonder if Pirates is free. I wonder if Pirates is free. Oh, okay, it's two dollars and forty-nine cents. My bad. Okay, what about Borderlands the the prequel? Let's see this. Purchase eleven ninety-nine. So it's not really deals with gold. These are just like packs and whatnot. Uh, but you know, if you guys are familiar with uh, deals with gold, they would be or you know they they would have deals with gold and then a, a thing called games with gold. Uh, so you could definitely purchase, uh, you know, the games. Uh, from there uh, or for free basically and you can have them downloaded as long as you're paying for Xbox Live so so my my question is can you know okay free to play let's see frozen free for all happy wars defiance free to play with gold so air mech arena okay happy wars world of tanks let's go to air mech arena and I want to download it sorry there's a problem with the Xbox <laughs> Try again later for help. Okay, let's try Defiance. I don't know what that's about. Source code. Let's try this, World of Tanks. Oh, there we go. So it just says rate. It doesn't, but it doesn't give me the option to download. It says co-op online, rate, pin to home. It, maybe it's already installed on my World of Tanks. Let's go to World of Tanks really quick, guys. Sorry, there's a problem. I don't know what's going on there. Um, make sure my my controller still works. I did plug the the little uh, receiver in the back of the console instead of the front, just because I don't like to see that thing sticking out. But I would really like to play Air Mech. But okay, let's see. Let's let's just see what other games they have. I might actually just go and purchase a game, um, just to see if it'll download to it because I don't have enough memory on the internal storage, right? So I have the other storage. Which, if you think about it, like, I, you know, I, I could have probably just used the USB drive. Uh, but it is what it is. Let's go to the Xbox Arcade. Let's go to on, what's on demand. Call of Duty. Halo Reach. I wonder how much Halo Reach is right now. Let's see. Can you just download Halo Reach, guys? And, again, I'm curious just to see what this dashboard looks like. Because, again, the new dashboard, obviously just says play on xbox one i don't i don't i mean i don't have an xbox one i have an xbox series s it's like literally like right next to the tv um but i guess you know you know game pass really doesn't exist for the 360 i really wish game pass was actually a thing for the 360 because there was there were so many good 360 titles guys and we just really didn't you know we I, you know i really wish that would have migrated on the 360 instead um let's go to arcade let's go to most popular you know, there's a lot of games out there that you can still download, like, again, like, Minecraft. You know, it doesn't really have, like, a store like you would see with the other one. I wonder if I can download Goat Simulator. I think they might charge for Goat Simulator. But let's see. Oh, it's 10 bucks. No thanks. Does somebody want to super chat me $10? I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's see. And again, guys, my wireless internet is not the fastest either, so I can... I, I would see why... But so far, like, you know, I don't see any performance issues as far as the actual, like, console itself. I haven't really tested out any games, though, so let me see if I can find a game for you guys. Okay, so I couldn't really find a, a good game to download, but what I'm doing is I'm actually just moving uh, the uh, the uh, game that I have downloaded, which is Resident Evil 2 Revelations, over to the... To the, uh, to the to the hard drive that I just installed guys so it's actually just transferring the files right now very easy you just have to go to the system uh, settings there and then of course from there you just go to 
uh, the memory, or you go to your game, you go to the, the, the memory unit that has the game, which was the internal hard drive, and then uh, you just click the actual th the game itself, and it'll give you the option to move move it from one hard drive to the other. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I did. And it's really not taking that long at all. Uh, I wanted to see how it's about a it's about a two gigabyte uh, download, which that game originally came out for the the Nintendo. Uh, for the Nintendo, I'm gonna move this one also. Let's move that to the hard drive as well. This one should take go really quick compared to the other one. But I just kind of want to see how the game runs, and you guys are going to kind of see it here with me. I might have to fix the lighting here, but we'll go ahead and do that. So it says Madden NFL 15, although I never had Madden NFL downloaded, at least to, to my specific one. You know, again, I'm going to probably end up initializing the console, just do, just do a clean sleep. Uh, but there you go. You can kind of see here that... Uh, again, that the memory unit that I had originally, which is the internal hard drive, now it has 2.4 gigabytes of free space, which originally it didn't. This one has 105. It went down from 106, which I don't get because initially it's supposed to be 120 gigs. So I don't know why you don't get all the hard drive space out of the box, you know, out of the, the box itself. But I guess that's just how, how those memory units are. So let's go back to my games here. I should, I should actually pin it just because... Sorry, I don't have any avatars there, but you know that I am gonna get some games in. So I'm 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 wondering if I'm gonna be able to install the games that I'm gonna buy. Let's see how it goes, and let's see let's see if this game runs. Excuse the ring light in the back. I'm gonna raise the volume just a little bit. And I, can, I guess I can turn off that ring light. There you go. And again, not that this is a very graphically, uh, you know, intense game. There you go. Selected device. I'm going to go ahead and select the hard drive. So storage device configured. So that means that it's going to install on there now and not on that. So let's see how this goes. And again, you guys are just going to kind of see the intro here. Save successful. Okay, this game is an autosave feature. Yada, yada, yada. I'm just going to kind of just do whatever here. Can leave subtitles off for now. It's actually one of my favorite like horror game series, guys. And you can find the package available. Would you like to download it? Okay, I guess so. Let's let's go. <laughs> All right. So I did get tired of waiting for the uh, uh, for the compatibility pack to download it. So I just went ahead and uh, started the game. Let's just go ahead and put it on normal for you guys. And you know, again, it's been a while. So I don't know, but you know, again, for the most part, this game, it's pretty graphic. I, mean, I wouldn't say it's super graphically uh, suited, but you know, you guys can kind of see Wild what terror. the world lives with it. You live with it. Viruses are stolen, re-engineered, misused with tragic results. And who are you supposed to trust? Who are you supposed to trust? Okay, can I skip this scene? Yeah, I'm just gonna skip. Yeah. I mean, this, the cutscenes are cool, or the little video packages are cool, but we just wanna see if we can play the game a little bit for you guys before we end the video here. For those of you who don't know, this is Claire Redfield. She was she was one of the main characters in in uh, one of the res original Resident Evil series. Her name, uh, but looks like she's just walking. Can she run? There we go. Is that 
And so far the game seems to be running very smoothly. I'm not seeing any issues or anything like that. Again, you're not hearing any... You're, I'm not hearing any like major sounds from the, from the console itself. There's no game in there. It's just running off the hard drive. Escape from the facility. You know what you did. Is this where I came from? I don't even remember. Whoa. I got some, uh... Controller drift right there. That was kind of weird. I, I do need to order a new control by the way because this control Isn't it I can tell you that much like it is kind of weird But okay, let's go back this way. I think that's where I came from originally But yeah for the most part guys again the game seems to be working. Okay. I'm not you know minus the controller uh, drift which you know, I don't You know, I, I don't think that's uncommon for older controls. I've never really had to experience that but again like for the most part you know game seems to game seems to work let's see if we can get a scary cutscene really quick a bunch of dead bodies that are just hanging still alive <laughs> well again guys uh i guess i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, this is Mike from B-Tech Review signing off again. Don't forget to smash the like button if you guys, you know, enjoyed this small tutorial on how to add the hard drive in. Pretty basic, again, and I'm pretty sure to add more memory. Also, you just need a memory card uh, as well with it. So hopefully, you know, you guys uh, get that going. And again, guys, this is Mike from B-Tech Review signing off. Thanks again for watching. Smash the like button, and we'll see you guys next time.